Hey guys, and welcome back to more of the Guild of Dungeoneering. Let us place the trophy room. I want the trophy room up here. Caught up in all this doom and gloom of all the places you've wrecked. It's nice to have a big trophy room. A place to quietly reflect. So we have our first trophy, the Rat King's Tale. How original, says the Rat King. Also shows you how many runs it took you to beat it, which will be, I think, cool later on. So we can look at our Dungeoneers. We have Name Me. So if you want to be named in the, as a Dungeoneer, like my friend Rillin, put your name in the comments. Enough of that. Let us expand our guild. So... The game has things called talismans. I don't know if they actually say here what they do. Yeah. One loot choice after first two fights is the trickster. The warrior spirit is plus one to first physical damage in battle. So, it's kind of confusing. You get one physical damage for only the first two fights. So it's useful for beating it, but really, if you can't beat a rat, that's my opinion. It's like, unless you're going to try to find a gnoll right away, I don't really see that being as helpful. Hug in the bottle. Plus eight, 1 HP for the first two fights. Okay, same idea. Plus 1 hand size in battle for the first two fights. Same idea. So it's all stuff that helps you the first two fights. In my opinion, I fight rats and stuff in the first two fights. So the item that's really useful is getting plus one loot choice. So we could also get another Dungeoneer. Cat Burglar. Oops, sorry. Ah, got that. The Mine. The Apprentice. So, and then there's more stuff you can get later on. Shapeshifter, Crone's Disciple, Alchemist, Barbarian, Ranger, Troubadour, Most Holy Grail Knight. So lots of stuff to unlock later on. But look at the price of those, 2000 Pretty expensive. These also unlock new items, which you can see here. We'll look at those in a different video, though. So yeah, link my spoilerish told you, pretty much, sorry. Just couldn't think of anything better to say, but yeah. Pretty much told you guys we're taking the tricksters. So. Well. Oh, I guess those don't appear on the map. You just get them. So let's head out and go exploring. What's this? There's more. A whole world to explore. Why, there's gold to be found and treasure in store. But what's the point you're all hit and miss? It's so plain to see. You're not cut out for this. <laughs> Love that music. Ah, if I never hear another story about clearing out rats, it'll be too soon. My minions and uh, employees did return with some interesting rumors from the Rat King, though. There's mention of a magical orb, an orb of nosiness. It's exactly the kind of thing I could use to keep an eye on the Ivy League. I'll need all the help I can get if I'm going to take them down a peg. The rumors point to more dungeons out in the grasslands. I'll search there first. Ha! What am I saying? I'm not stepping foot in that place. That's what I have chubs for. And if they don't want to do it, there's plenty more who are eager to join a guild. I've also decided that from now on, we'll be known as the Guild of Dungeoneering. The Guild of Dungeoneering. Sorry. Either that, or the Guild of the Ivy League of Explorers is stupid. Can't decide which look better on their letterhead. We did go with the Guild of Dungeoneering, by the way. So... We unlocked some new areas. So we're gonna go with the one that's closest here. Fiery Foray. Scope out Emro's defenses. So if you have more than one blessing, you can go through them. Here you can go through your characters. We are not gonna use the chump. The chump is one of the worst. The only thing the chump has that's actually good is it has a natural two damage card and a block that blocks all types of elemental damage. However, he also has stupidity, which is like the worst ability ever. So. Let us continue. Hey, what are you doing in my evil entrance hall? 
Well, my imps will make short work of you. So here, we actually want to be really careful. We do not want to place either of these monsters. Because they are level 2, we are level 1, we will get schooled. We can just play the blank room here. I will place this room since it has two kind of arrows. This is a positive fountain. So. The fountain has predictable, so the monster in it plays this deck face up, which is kind of neat. But let us just move into that area. More nothing in it. I think they focus on rooms they haven't explored first over rooms they have. Which I think is what turned the tables on that last one. We did get actually a goblin and a scary spider. Scary spiders? Yeah, okay, it doesn't matter. We will put a spider. Spiders are weaker than goblins, generally. So, let us put that in. No offense, but scary spiders is well ugly, isn't it? <laughs> Sounds like he's British. With well ugly. We can block that. So that doesn't count as physical, da physical damage, so it doesn't actually get blocked. Take advantage of the additional from Frail, but if we hit him physically, we gain extra damage, which is sweet. We do not want to lose a card, so we'll just hit him and get another spiky damage on there. So we want to use unblockable since he's using a blocking ability. Our card reshuffles because we used all the cards, but we can triple kill him because we get one damage there plus two more damage because he's frail so we get a paper crowd holy is pretty good for every damage you deal you recover a health you get the ruffled shirt the twig or the wooden board we've seen how good the wooden board is we will keep it plus it starts allowing you to build up armor um ghosts are actually kind of tough I'm just going to put another scary spider down I think we can go up and fight that knoll. That sounds fine to me. Ghosts can be a little bit tough. Yeah. Can't be killed. Yeah. So like ghosts, ghosts are not that fun. I do not recommend fighting them as your level two monster. Oi, goblin! Unless you have good equipment. So, right here. You tried something? Super good. He took a damage from his headbutt, and we blocked two. Sorry if I'm kind of sniffy, I think I'm coming down with the coal, so apologize for that. We do not need to use our block ability. Well, here we can, but he's going to be dead either way, so. You better have to save up health for times when he's going to do two damage to you normally. So, so we can get Ruffled Shirt. The paper crown, kappa, but that would replace our board. Or we get sell for one gold, but we may as well get the ruffled shirt. One gold isn't that useful. It's not going to affect battle that much. A massive gem already. That is nice. Hmm. The zombie is probably actually easier than the knoll, and that will make the knoll a little bit easier. So we don't need to defeat three monsters though. So we're actually already done this dungeon. So pretty easy. So I guess we planned out a little bit more than we needed to, but... Spook! We couldn't do damage there normally, so there's no point trying to attack. Here, I love this. Three damage here because one from the frail, one from the damage, and one from the spiky. And here, unblockable, two damage. He narrow toxins us, but we smack him for two, and he is dead. So, see you guys, the game's moving a lot faster now that we have kind of more access to cards and stuff. Well, this is really just quite surprising. Aren't Dungeoneers just cannon fodder? But against all odds, they keep surviving. They're so dumb. Why even bother? Beyond. So you can poke them and they get upset. I ain't bothered. Ow, that hurt. I ain't bothered. What, you what if I were to poke you instead? Ask me if I'm bothered. Look at my face, I'm not bothered. So. This keeps saying stuff but bothered. So let us go for our first expansion outward. So there's several areas you can get here. Like the blacksmith. 
you know me, I like a lot of the armor abilities and defensive abilities. This has less skill, so it will only be defensive, but it is a blacksmith. If we went to, like, the leather worker, there's a lot more defensive. The skull cap is amazing. And, I don't know, some of this other stuff's good too. So, we are probably going to go with the leather worker. It's really good. Heater shield is quite good as well, but not as useful as the leather worker. Curio is now on items. It's kind of goes with the mime. The mime has like weird abilities. He's not a traditional character. Curio kind of goes with that. It has kind of different abilities. The troll femur is actually pretty good because it's a level one weapon, but it has crush two and growth one. So I do actually recommend the troll femur if you have the chance picked up. But we will build the leather worker. And we're going to build it outwards over here. So we'll have some Dungeoneers over here, higher tier Dungeoneers up here, and some other stuff over here. So, I'm going to try to keep it one um, dungeon per episode, as to not make it too long. So, thanks guys for coming out for more of the Guild Dungeoneering, and we'll be back in the next episode for more. Thanks guys. Later.